uh, Paramount or Nickelodeon or one of those fucking studios. I didn't do enough research to know, but one of them announced at CinemaCon that they are officially working on a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action Last Ronin. And it will be rated R. So we're finally going to see a turtle dick go in side of april o'neill's pussy that's the current rumor and if the story from the comic books is true that turtle's gonna be michelangelo because in this alternate reality or future the shredder completely takes over the world and the foot clan and all this ass and they kill all the turtles and splinter and the only turtle that's left is fucking michelangelo and he carries all the weapons of all the turtles he no longer wears orange because he's no longer happy like the sunshine. He is angry and depressed and more like Raphael. And he also, he talks to the ghosts of his dead brothers. They haunt him. Maybe he's crazy. He's imagining it. But this is happening in a live action movie. That'll probably be a CGI fuck fest because there's no way in hell they're going to go back to doing the puppets like Jim Henson did because they're two pussies to try to even attempt to do something creative like that. So we're going to get some fucking CGI fuck fest just like we did from the fucking uh, uh, fucking Transformers guy, whatever, Michael Bay Ninja Turtles. So yeah, I don't know. This might still end up being ass. That's all I'm gonna say, even though the backdrop of it and the story is badass. It might still be ass in the end. It was also announced by one of these studios, one of these Asian motherfuckers there at CinemaCon. I don't know who it was. It was just some guy, but he went up there on the stage and they came out and he said, Hey, we are making a live action Digimon movie another cgi fuck fist that's not going to use practical effects or puppets or anything realistic it's going to be a bunch of kids in front of a green screen here's a little fucking green ball talk to it and shit show no emotions or any kind of facial features nothing we're not going to suck in a bunch of rocket raccoons all together and shit this is going to be ass from the start and who knows which version of Digimons they're going to adapt. Because the only good version of Digimons that ever existed is literally the first iteration that came out in the Fox Kids translated from the Japanese version. This probably wasn't even the first one in Japan. But it was the first one in America. And that's the one we know. Where Ty and a bunch of the other dumb kids first go into the digital world. And these are the ones... But I bet you anything, they're not even going to adapt this and they're going to choose some other fucking later, either third, fourth generations that only fucking woke ass fuck kids know. Some homosexual, non binary kids find some fucking blob that doesn't even know if it's a male or female or Digimon human or whatever the fuck it wants to call itself. It's confused. It's going to be a thing with a virus in it. And that's the version we're going to end up seeing. For fuck's sakes. So yeah, I hope you all are excited for this DG1 Digital Monsters, bunch of bullshit they're gonna bring to you. Cheers! Fucking dick. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.